Hey guys, what's up? And welcome to a slightly different type of episode. Um, this is not a Bruin Build episode at all. This is just a little spin-off time-lapse sort of series that I'm going to be doing um, just to wait for 1.14 to come out. And I hope you guys are going to really enjoy it. I think you are. It's going to be quite fun, and I'm really excited to actually start in on some replay mod stuff. Haven't done that in quite a while. Today we're going to be building a little bit of an oasis style desert build and I don't really know why I wanted to build this. I just kind of, I think I saw a time lapse video recently that really just made me want to build in a desert style and I thought that this was a great way to do it. Um, and so it's me experimenting around with also some world edit. I've never used world edit before, but I gotta say it's pretty cool. Um, and so why don't you guys just take a load off and enjoy this video and I'll be back in just a few seconds. Alright guys, so what to talk about, what to talk about. Well, firstly, as you probably have noticed, Bruin Build is not happening today. And it's not going to be happening until 1.14 releases. And I think that it is like fully stable enough to be okay to play in. Um, so that could honestly be just like a week or two. Um, but I just wanted to kind of forewarn you about that um, and that's why this series has kind of taken its place right now um, but don't worry Bruin build is not going anywhere um, I just have a couple things that I want to do and wait on um, for 1.14 and uh, things that we have to get done before that and uh, one of those is an iron farm. So I recently built an iron farm just to have a good backlog of iron because of the ways things are changing for um, iron farms in 1.14. I didn't want to try to tackle that lower rate of iron um, and have that be our iron supplies because that kind of sounds like it would stink. So what I did was made an iron farm completely out of nether brick. Um, it's really ugly, but it's super temporary. Um, and so all I've been doing the past few days is AFKing at it. And uh, right now we're at a full chest of iron. And so that's great. Um, but one of the things that is kind of uh, bad about it is that it is very slow. Um, it gets about 40 iron an hour or something like that. Okay, a little better. I think it gets a little bit better than that, but roughly 40 iron an hour and so it's not like it's amazing but it's doing perfectly fine my computer probably hates me because it's been on 24 7 for the past like four or five days but hey you know what we have lots of iron so that's good um, and so I'm going to be AFKing there um, for <laughs> the foreseeable future and uh, hopefully we'll be able to get a lot of iron from that now, as soon as 1.14 releases, we will be uh, tearing that down. I'll show you everything. But the thing about it is we've got like 45 villagers, 50 villagers, something like that in that iron farm uh, just to make it as efficient as possible for how small it is. And uh, well, I don't know what to do with those villagers. So I have an idea. It'll be obnoxious and just awful to do, but I have an idea to bring them all to our other area or at least two of them i'm not really sure we could bring two of them and start like breeding um that could potentially be a thing but i want villagers to be slightly a part of our city of brassington in some way i don't know if we can make a iron farm there i don't know something to think about in the future but i'm not really sure now this series is something a bit different. You know, we've done other series on the channel and they don't seem to last too terribly long because of my inability to have a good schedule with the way I am currently living. Um, and so hopefully that will all change, you know, later on once Emma and I are married. But for right now, I thought that this was a good medium between having a totally separate series and something that is like not dependent upon truly having a lot of vocal stuff um, like I'm only talking for like six minutes on this and so that's a lot easier for me to do um, and it's 
it's really pretty simple and it's creative building so I don't have to grind or anything like that. And honestly, I've been really wanting to explore creative building a bit because I, you know, I get cravings to just be able to build and build really fun things, but I don't want to have the like, I don't want to have the sort of, um, in a survival series, if you are making something, you sh try to make it like whenever I make things, I try to make them at least a little bit more than just like a random house in the middle of nowhere like this oasis. Um, I have plans if you guys like this type of build and want to see more. I have plans to make this a bit more of an area. This area, though, would have been absolutely impossible to do because I drained an entire lake. Um, but it was something that I could really do in creative and it's something I could do for fun. Um, and in, in survival, I would feel like I would need to make it more, if that makes sense. I always feel like I need to make my builds like not town where it necessarily like towns, but I need to make them more than just like a simple house here and there. Um, and so this is really just a way for me to explore different styles to also maybe get you guys uh, some different ideas um, and to maybe see what you guys like and where we could take the Bruin build series um, in our sort of next city or if we want to kind of do little spin-offs here and there that could be pretty fun as well so it's just a way for me to explore my creativity um, and get a little bit more content on the channel as well now some of you may be wondering how am I using like replay mod with 1.14 stuff, but why am I not decorating the water? Because I can make it look a whole lot better. Um, and so that's actually because I'm using a mod that Archelaus has made that allows you to use 1.14 blocks. It basically adds the blocks in to 1.12. So we're currently playing in 1.12, so we don't have like all the functionalities of 1.13. Um, and so we can still use replay mod because it's 1.12 and we can use the 1.14 blocks They just don't have their like functionality and stuff um, So, you know, it's a kind of a give or take but replay mod is just too good to lose and so I really didn't want to Not have it and of course there's gonna be a link in the description to one of his videos to detail how you can get the mod um, I would tell you how but it's easier just to go to his videos and plus that makes you have to go to his videos and I think that's a good thing to do considering he is the one that has made it and he is the one it's his mod so um, definite huge shout out to Archaeus because it's a it's a great mod it works great um, and so far so good um, only issue I've had is replay mod not wanting to work with Optifine so I don't really know if you know a fix to that that would be awesome but if not that's perfectly okay and so, you know, I think that catches you up on the gist of basically everything that's going to be happening on the channel. Um, if you guys like this build style, please feel free to let me know in the comments and let me know if there's anything you think should be added to this little desert oasis area. We definitely need some palm trees. I know that, but if it's something you would like to see continued and maybe expanded upon, I would love to do it or any other build styles that you want to see a time lapse of, I would be happy to tackle those. So any ideas are welcome and uh, yeah, I'll let you guys get back to the time lapse and uh, just enjoy the rest of it. So I'll see you guys in the next video.